na muungano wa sekta binafsi nchini Kenya Kipsa umepongeza hatua ya kurekebisha baadhi ya vipengele kwenye mswada wa fedha mwaka 2024 ukisema kwamba ni ushindi mkubwa kwao marekebisho kumi kati ya kumi na sita yaliyotangazwa jana na kamati ya bunge kuhusu fedha Kipsa imesema kwamba litokana na ushawishi wake kupitia mazungumzo na kamati hiyo Now the impact would have been another 66.5 cost increase. When I say cost increase, you know the cost of finance, the cost of everything else put together, including the plastics levy, including the e eco levy and all that stuff put together. Uh, a jerry can goes for 230 shillings today. You buy at 230 shillings. 150 shillings was proposed as eco levy on top of that. So you can imagine the to total taxation would have been very heavy. And I just want to say that the impact would have been to the consumer out there. The consumer price would have gone down from 4000 shillings today to 6800 shillings per jerry can between a manufacturer in Kenya wholly produced in Kenya to a finished good producer who's just a trader an extra 2% competitive advantage for the local factory but in the same case you haven't lost revenue so these were the candid discussions which were received very well and we're very happy to say on the tourism sector uh, the, their proposal was the we, we there's been an encouragement to locally assemble special vehicles for tourism and uh, so the idea of uh, which are the land cruisers and uh, we saw with Tanzania when they started really doing a lot of land cruisers and all that a lot of the tourism moved to Tanzania because of just the, the, even part of just the vehicles and so in the the push by the tourism sector is to be exempted from excise duty <coughs> you heard from Bimal saying now excise duty has been introduced almost in every different sector well initially it used to be a sin tax and so that's a discussion right there so that's the, the push and so that is yet to be addressed